to go. Are we on? Yeah. Okay, hey, we're on. Where did our beautiful intro go? I don't know. All right, know. Star, let's do a test. Are we sure we're on? You guys are loud and clear. All right. You got to hurry. I got a game to get to in 30 minutes. What kind of game in 30 minutes? A little minutes? basketball by district playoff game, Brown 30 Lions minutes. Versus oh, that's right. Breckenridge, whatever they That's are. right. It no, is no, five. In Breckenridge. Yeah. And they're playing Burt Burnett. That's right. Whatever Burt Burnett's mascot is. They are the Burt Burnett Bulldogs. Are they really? They are. Their coach, basketball coach, Nix, has been there like 42 years. He's been there forever and ever. That's why their football program is not any good. <laughs> they invested all in their basketball. Yep. But you're right. 5.30, tip off at 6 here on KOX. In fact, Dallas and Scott are probably waiting for us to get through so they can do their pregame. Yeah, Dallas, I mean, he may be uh, <laughs> grappling at you here shortly. <laughs> so we'll have to keep it a little bit shorter than usual. How are you, Coach? It's I'm good great. to see you. How are you? Man, we I'm got doing... through the wintry weather time. Had a great day yesterday. Sun was out. People had to be feeling good for sure. Oh, man, it was great, it's wasn't it? It's mid-60s. I think it felt like his 90s. <laughs> man, it felt awesome yesterday it well it's good to see you and hope you had a good weekend and enjoy the weather things are getting back to normal school back sports back and yeah. we have a busy week we got to, i went yesterday and we did the fca uh, all-star drafts for all the sports and got confirmation from them that pretty much gonna be a go all the red flags have been lifted for fca for us to have those events in the summer so that was fun got to draft some pretty good players yeah you're gonna coach uh, one of the teams yeah. football my first pick you you go to a list and there's certain like if you there's a coach's son they're automatic and then there's also a single kid towns so you want to uh, uh, represent from every town so we picked that board first but when it got to the open board you can pick who you wanted okay let me guess my, no, I shouldn't. Right, my yes. first pick. You can pick. Kid from Bangs. Nope. Good. Ethan? I, no, Ethan was actually, they don't even know this, but Ethan was my first pick on the first board. Because, really? Uh, coach's son. Yeah, he's a great kid. He is uh, he awesome. He was my first pick off that board, but my first pick on the open board was 6'5, 270 <laughs> tackle. Derek from Stuckley. Wall, Wall Texas. <laughs> Oh, Baylor man. commit. So we're going to be a master ball up front. Hope. You've talked about him before. <laughs> yeah. He's a basketball player, yeah. too. Yeah. Can you imagine him? But He's committed to Baylor, I think. That's fun. Yeah. We'll have to, and I know somebody will get me a list of all of that. We'll have to go that through that. It's all right. Be good. Well, yeah, congratulations Thanks. again. It was wiped out last year, but yep. you're one of the coaches. Yes, I You am. are the head coach of one of the teams. Yep. Man, that's exciting. It is exciting. All right. Glad you got that done. And let's remember to talk about that more in future shows. Later on. Absolutely. Let's go to a little activity this weekend. We sent three girls to uh, Land Passes for a last chance qualifier for regional powerlifting. And it was, uh, they all got in. So Alexis Ariola, Jamie Cottle, uh, Ashlyn Harris had already qualified, and uh, Jason Jones <coughs> all, qua uh, all qualified for the regional powerlifting meet. So awesome. congratulations to those ladies. Got by district basketball tonight. Uh, got baseball at, uh, uh, against Brock out at the stand. God, I can't even talk. <laughs> out at out Brock. at the stadium. <laughs> is it at Brock or here? I think it's at Brock. Pretty sure it, it is. It is at Brock? We had Coach Harrison last week. So. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, 4.30 and 7 o'clock. And then, of course, we got soccer here tomorrow night with JV at 5.15 and the varsity at 7. Uh, and then the girls will be traveling to Graham. Uh, just a little FYI for people going to the game. We do not have water at the uh, stadium, so if you need something to drink, bring your own water. Uh, we're still trying to uh, had a, some pipes break out there. They're trying to fix those, but we don't want it to stop our activities. So just understand that uh, if you need to use the restroom or get have, bring some water, go ahead and do so. Uh, we may have porta potties out there by tomorrow. If not, we'll have them by Friday when we play mineral wells, but uh, that may be a little inconvenient, but we can be a little inconvenient so we can watch our kids go out there and play. So we have that going on, and then we also have softball at Dublin 4.30 and 6.30. Man, let's get her going. Then Wednesday, I'll go ahead and talk Track, about Wednesdays. Yeah. Brock, track okay then uh thursday uh they've switched it up a little bit it was gonna be girls boys but we have jv track at brock on thursday okay. so uh we got lots going on and if you look at the end of that week which we'll talk Ooh, about wednesday yeah. look at that blah, blah, blah. baseball tournament yes softball. It's, it's springtime and we're getting some spring weather i hope now so yeah look pretty good for the rest of the week mid 60s we'll take man i'm ready to get all this going me too last year got a lot of the baseball softball got wiped out yep. 
And of course, as you said, we got baseballs all week. I'm ready softball. for track. I've been watching those kids run around the track, girls and boys, for weeks now. They need to get out there and go compete and see that mile relay. And right, my favorite race. So it's all good. Yeah, of course. Good luck to you again, Brownwood. Brownwood Lions tonight against Burke Burnett, Breckenridge coming up here in a few. What's wrong, Star? Nothing. Are we okay? Yeah. We're not gonna have to redo this again. No. Yeah, looking at me funny. Anyway, uh, that's tonight. Good luck to the Brownwood Lions. Bur By the way, Coach Daly told me I don't like to look ahead, but they win. They'll probably play Wednesday night again. They Either gotta... at Eastland or Steamville, I think. Okay. And uh, the two schools, I don't remember. We'll get to that when we get to that. But one quick is turnaround. The, one is a school I don't even never heard of before. Bells. No, it's some uh, uh, <laughs> look like a charter school kind of thing to me or something. I'm not sure. I haven't seen the bracket that yeah, far. Yeah, when you see it, you'll, you'll okay. know what I'm talking about. Even Derek's baffled over here, and he usually yeah. does not get baffled well, we like gotta that. Get rid of the, we got to get rid of the uh, Burke Burnett Bulldogs first. That's right. That'd That's be a who good knocked game. us out last year. It is. They were really good. Talked to Coach Daly. They're not as good as they were last year, which is good because they were really good, and so True. were we. Uh, so, but he feels pretty confident if we go out and play well, they can be successful. Oh, I think so. All right, so good luck to them. That mm -hmm. game here on KOXE 101.3 with Dallas and Scott coming up here in just a few minutes. I don't know what Star is up to. I don't know. She's giving us that look. Has she got a surprise for us? No. We got the line back here. That looks great. I have no surprise today. All right. Well, there you go. All right, no surprises. Mm. But I, when she says that, I really worry. I know it. I don't know what <laughs> we have nothing up our sleeves today. All right, you know, I, we just have a few minutes here, but we were talking about history of Brownwood and some mm -hmm. of the great, uh, some of the stores and eateries and stuff. Where was your favorite hangout that maybe not be around anymore? My favorite hangout uh, just depends on the time of my life. But one of my all-time favorite hangouts was Camp Bowie, and during the summer, during baseball season, didn't matter what age, because everybody collected out there. It was a big deal. But when I was in high school, it was AT&T, which is, uh, used to be the Burger King. Oh, yeah. And that's where everybody hung out. And right beside it at the communications was the Taco Bell. So oh. that's where everybody would hang out, go drive around, you know, like we did, waste gas, drive around, then go back to see who was back <laughs> at the Burger King. Right. Maybe get something to eat and drive around a little bit more, then go back to the Burger King. Because, oh, you, you know, man. we're hunting that pretty girl or yeah. that guy from Bangs or someone that's trying to, you know, <laughs> tread in on our territory, you know, get, you know, high that's school days. Stuff, high school man. days. <laughs> There's so much great history. Star and you uh, and I were talking about. About doing a taco Tuesday, maybe I'm driving around it. and doing a little tour sometime. I'm ready, Brown with his story. Let's yeah. go. We will do that because uh, we opened up a can of worms on the air yeah. this morning talking about some of the old businesses around. Like, was it Ashburn? What kind? What was the ice cream place? Baskin Robbins. No, the Ashburns are Ashburns ice cream. Yeah. Never heard of it. And then ba you ever heard of Ashburns? No. Then you had Baskin Robbins as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, fascinating stuff. And yep. used to hang out at a lot. Mr. Burger. Mr. Burger, there's two of them. It's crazy. I told the story yesterday because I told you I went and did the draft. And as I'm taking my wife, you look over there by in Wiley, there's a Mr. Burger. I said, you know, it's funny. Is Brownwood had two Mr. Burgers. They were very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were both about a mile apart. Right there where uh, Ricardo's is now. And then over by the softball field, Higher Paint softball field, it says Pinkard Motors. Yeah. But that sign, if you look at it, is still the Mr. Burger sign. Wow. How about that? So let's do that sometime. Let's, I'm ready. Man, let's drive around and check out the history of Brownwood. <laughs> I can take you to where Bo Diddles and Timbers was. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those were the honky tonks. Bo Diddles, Bo and, Diddles and Timbers. And Timbers. They were across the street from each other. Oh. 377. Oh, man. My dad used to freak with those places. <laughs> <laughs> Either as a... A uh, customer or as a deputy sheriff, so. <laughs> oh, man. We got to learn more about this because I've never heard of old uh, diddles or, or timbers, timbers, either one. See, I went way back right there. You did. The way back machine. Miraculously, today. they both burnt. Oh, man. All right, so we're going to do that. I know we got to uh, make room here for Dallas and Scott. Uh, Scott, that's him. Mm -hmm. But I want to know something. All right, what? Star wants to know. What's up with your driver? Oh, he didn't do too well yesterday. He could, he he actually did real well. He got banged up first start, first turn of the race, and was 27 seconds behind. Got all the way back to third, and then late in the round got smacked into the wall. But then uh, Gibbs did really good this weekend. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. With Christopher Bell getting his first win, and then oh, yeah. Ty Gibbs, that Xfinity race, if you saw that, that's uh, Joe yeah, Gibbs' grandson. He was amazing. He had three. Never driven. never driven or practiced one of those cars, never had a pit stop. Mm -hmm. And those three restarts at the end, he just took ownership. It was awesome. I enjoyed that tremendously. It was neat to see him, too, because he was elated. I mean, he was, you could tell it was a major deal for him. He was on crying, and it was, it was pretty cool. Good weekend for Joe Gibbs Racing. I love it, and I love the McDowell guy that won last yep. week. By the way, big day in history, February 22nd, three years ago. Do you remember what happened? Yep. Tell me That's what my happened. first day as a head coach, athletic director at Brown High School. Wow. How about that? <laughs> Don't I'm, sell that. I'm going to have to post that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to post that. I was okay. doing a bunch of stuff this morning before I came and uh, I had was trying to fill out some paperwork for the basketball game and everything, and the date was February 22nd. I'm like, hang on a second. Start year number four today. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Star Before had to work. remind me. She sent me a little deal, and I appreciate awesome. that, Star. Thanks for it. having me this long. I need about 15 more years. Let's do for it. Yeah. I was there. I'm Derek good for was there. More. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I saw Star Derek. I'm was like, there. What is Derek doing? Getting here? pictures? Yes. Before you even knew who I was. <laughs> yes. Was last time, last, I was like, what's Stuckley doing here? Last time I saw him, we're at Brenham. <laughs> where, where are you doing, <laughs> <laughs> there was a good crowd there. There was. was. I think there were more people there for that press conference. That was it, really cool. It was, was really cool. Awesome. Experience. I bet there yep. were two, three hundred people crammed yep. in that room. Uh, in I'm still blessed. Oh, amen. Yep. And Dallas had to do his deal by video. By remote. It was still awesome. That was a great yeah. video, Dallas, if you're watching or listening. That was awesome. Very touching. And I didn't know you at that time, just knew of you, and I think I choked up a little bit on that. Yeah, that was cool. That was really unexpected and cool. The whole ordeal was really cool and special to me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I won't ever forget it. Three years ago today, yeah. this man came aboard as our head football coach, athletic director. Still trying to do what we promised that day. All right. Coach, great show today, man. Great reminiscing. Anything else? Yeah, let's thank those that make this show possible. Auto Glass Magic, Avalon Custom Homes, Brunner Auto Group, Syntex Body and Paint, Syntex Equipment Sales, Citizens National Bank, Dan Hill Containers, Dr. Bon Young, Dr. Pepper Bonding Company, Edward Jones Investments, Hendrix Medical, Howie Enterprises, Humphrey Peets, Landmark Life, MC Bank, Painter and Johnson Associates, Smith and Sharp Agencies, Sonic Drive-In, Stanley Chrysler, Texas Bank, Weldon Wilson Electric, Western Bank, and Willis Tees. Coach, thank you, and uh, safe travels to the game. you got to hurry. we got to go. <laughs> Have a great day, Brownwood. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Brownwood Lions head football coach, athletic director, Sammy Burnett. I was thinking about those three years ago. That's pretty fascinating. <laughs> that Here cool. on the Coaches Show every Monday and Wednesday at this time on KOXC 101.3, KOXC.com, and on the KOXC KBWD Facebook page video streamed.